The Matchbox Menagerie, that's what I decided to name this piece. I thought, I've got to put the pot, the coffee pot one first because I always start my day with coffee. I'd made a smaller work, I think I had 24 boxes in it that I'd made about four years ago. It was a little bit different from this one though. Uh, it's managed to find itself a new home. Uh, after uh, I saw the piece again, Ray, and I just decided I'm going to do another matchbox thing. And I decided I wanted to go with at least a hundred boxes. I wanted to stretch my imagination uh, on this piece. Some were spontaneous. Some, I just get an idea, it just flash across my head, uh, and I'd make it. I wanted to experiment with a lot of this stuff. I wanted to work with different textures and form and different materials and just see what I could come up with. Some are very challenging that I worked on. I worked with pieces of map board, uh, just scrap map board and stuff, foam board, pieces of it and rolling papers left out roll my own cigarettes I always had a lot of extra rolling papers so I'd kind of turn them into paper mache using the white glues and molded things with it I, I, I used it kind of like paper mache I took hot glue and uh, dripped it into cold water to get kind of some effects I wanted to do and then I'd paint the hot glue one is made of an old egg carton. Uh, the one that looks like the dragon eye. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to express in this piece. I guess it, each individual box speaks for itself. They all have titles. Some reflect my character and the things that I like and I'm fond of. Some I don't know what they are. They're just kind of weird. That's what I like about them, though. They're different. The title sums it up. It's just a menagerie. The roses and the fruit and the little green man and some of the other imaginary forms I made with molding compound. The roses were made by Lydia, and I painted them. And she had made those about a year prior and I found them and I decided I wanted to incorporate them in the piece too and that's when I decided I'd, I'd start trying to work myself with some of the, the molding compound which I was real happy with the results of it. The, the mushrooms were made with the modeling compound uh, but the whole piece was just really fun putting together and, uh, and just took a lot of pleasure, kept me busy, and kept my mind occupied. Uh, the little butterfly, those are real butterfly wings that we found a dead, deceased butterfly and salvaged the wings and put super clear tape on the wings and I made the body of the butterfly out of molding compound and took little thin wires that I made these antennas with. Same for the little lizard, it's uh, made out of the modeling compound and I used real sand and little pebbles that, for the ground. Uh, some of them were mixed with map board and hot glue and B.O. beads painted and abstract forms and just the free flowing things that uh, I, I, I just worked with their element. I, 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 could possibly think of from paper to plastics and found things. I uh, made things that looked like alien critters, uh, parts of old uh, toy cell phones and uh, uh, pieces of old foam that are ripped and painted. I made tribal masks out of the map board and one I used foam board to make one of the heads that looks like one of the Easter Islands. Thanks for checking me out. Peace and love. Let's be the change we want to see in the world.